So, we have basically all the cards, thanks to the folks over at the Midnight Suns Wiki. A lot of lot of work has been put into this for literally nothing, so thanks folks. Um, so we're going to do our best to make a tier list based on all the information I have before actually playing the game myself. So, I have 14, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 13. Yeah, whatever. I have Charlie here as well. Um, slight spoiler, if you max out Hunter's light side, you can summon Charlie. So we're going to be talking about that as well, whether or not I think that's worth it or what. You no, know, that really is like a worthwhile thing to do to get Charlie, and is Charlie worth that much of an investment or even using blah 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 but anyway we have all these characters we have all the character pages so we can look at their cards and yeah so starting off hunter i think hunter is easy s uh, hunter looks like just because the amount of options they have i think hunter is probably like overall the best character in the game because you can do so much with them let's pull up the cards here there are a couple of standouts that just look to be completely game breaking like Oh, that's annoying. Can I not? Whatever. Uh. Oh, there we go. We got a little bar. Let's see. Call to Arms doubles heroism gains. So you just play this card, and then every card you play is giving you like one or two heroism per card. So this just stacks up heroism ridiculously fast, lets you play your crazy card super fast. So that's crazy. Let's see what's another nuts so one. Um, heal looks to be the best like single target heal in the game so far, and looks like when it's upgraded it gives you draw two, which is just a solid effect. So she has good support, or they have good support abilities as well. I might slip up and say she because I plan on making my hunter a she. Um, Holy burst, especially for how cheap this is. Uh, damaging and healing in an area is insane. It's just like you know you lose I win button. It's you're literally they are losing health and you are gaining health. And it's the exact same number. So, like, numerically, they're just basically, like, taking that health from your opponents and giving it to yourself. I think Inspire was another nutso one. Yeah, Inspire is just, it's like the Nico card, but not as random. Um, where there's your hand, it's free, for one. And it just makes a heroic card in your hand free. Or not free, but cost zero. So that's crazy. What was the other fun one? Patience is ridiculous. You just keep it in your hand, and then eventually you one-shot something. Uh, Charlie, we'll talk about later. I don't actually like Whip because it makes you discard a card, but it's super early game, and it's a forceful knockback, so it's not, like, bad either. And, yeah, Wrath just gives... It's free when it's upgraded, and it gives every Hunter card for the next two turns, including ones that you draw in that are in your hand, crit. So it's just a massive damage buff. But, yeah, 